Hey Eastside, it's good to be here with you today. We're so excited to be here right now, right here. Just a reminder, at Eastside we're about seeking Christ, serving the community together, teaching others, and joining in worship. This is a big day for us as a church family. I want to take just a moment and thank the facilities team for all of the incredible work that they've put in. It's an, an incredible amount of time and effort that they've put into this. Over the last 10 years, a lot has changed, Eastside, and we can't wait to see what God is going to do next. Hey Eastside, I'm Welby Lehman, Chair of the Eastside Facilities Team. The elders in the facilities team are excited to present to you what we believe is our best option for a 24-7 home and to ask for your support in moving ahead. There's a lot of thought and effort behind the information you're about to hear, and there's more work yet to be done. There are still big questions that need to be answered. So thank you for your prayers. We need the Holy Spirit to continue to guide our church family. As most of you know, the SCENT campaign was launched when the elders discerned it was time for Eastside to find a place where ministry could happen on a 24-7 basis. That campaign was amazingly successful. With nearly 100% participation, we raised almost $630,000, which was $200,000 more than our consultants expected. That campaign was a vote of confidence that it is time for Eastside to find a 24-7 facility. While our wish list for a building was long, the elders identified three must-haves. One, the space must be in the city of Harrisonburg. Two, it must have a seating capacity of at least 200. And three, it must have ample space for Eastside kids. After the SCENT campaign, the elders assembled a facilities team comprised of persons with a variety of professional backgrounds and skills. The team members are myself, Corey Clanahan, Jan Liskey, Alan Rohr, Carl Stoltzfus, L.D. Suter, Matt Swartley, Derek Trissel, Eric Weaver, Rachel Yoder, and Sarah Yoder. And I want to take a second to say a huge thank you to this team for getting through the many long meetings and the difficult conversations. Your collective expertise, together with your spirit of humility, has been a joy to witness. We're not done yet, so we've got to keep going. Thank you. The facilities team organized itself and got to work. Early in the process, the team was looking at properties for lease and for purchase. Available lease properties ranged from $4,000 to $7,000 per month. The team determined that leasing was not a good option, not affordable or sustainable, and not good stewardship because we would not be building equity for the future. So the team focused on buildings for purchase, something we could afford and that would build equity. But what could we afford? While incredibly successful, the SCENT campaign pledges were enough to buy a really nice house, not an 8,000 square foot commercial building. Most of the commercial spaces in Harrisonburg of that size cost more than twice our pledged amount, even before renovations. You should know that in an effort to seek all opportunities, the team contacted our church conference minister to see if he knew of any church properties that might be available. He contacted leaders of local church denominations including the Church of the Brethren, Lutheran, Presbyterian, and others. But only a few existing church properties were available, and they were neither suitable nor affordable. Eventually, the facilities team selected five buildings and with the best potential and presented those to the elders. One building stood out. It met our space requirements and is financially feasible because it includes rental income for a portion of the building. Also, this building is not for public sale but the owner, the Gene Diener family, is making it available for us to buy. This building is located at 1061 South High Street behind Brothers Pizza. It was most recently occupied by BBB Grocery Store, and it sits less than one mile from our Kids Club location in Merriweather Hills. The total area of the building is 16,000 square feet with two floors. The upper floor has two commercial tenants, the first floor is vacated, open space, ready for us to renovate. The line shown here is about the approximate boundary of the lot we would own. The parking is adequate. The spaces in front and behind the building will be owned by us and avail available for use at any time. We will also have access to any of the additional parking spaces within this blue line on Sunday mornings 
which is many more than we would need even on our highest attended Sundays. This is a view of what the front of the building looks like from South High Street. This is a view again of the front and the north side of the building. And this is a view of the back where the tenants can access their space on the upper level. And then this is a view of the inside of the lower level, which is the space that we would renovate and occupy. So what's possible within this space? Well, this is a drawing of what this space could be. Um, the worship room has seating for 224 people. There's ample space for East Side kids. There's a foyer for our typical greeting, coffee and snacks. There's restrooms and a, a little bit of office space. The East Side kids area could be finished with uh, permanent walls or could be left with movable walls so that we could maintain multi-purpose space. My big disclaimer is this is not a final floor plan. It's very much in development. More work with the elders and staff needs to be done as well as further design and engineering. Also, this is a view of what the outside could look like, um, trying to enhance it for more curb appeal with awnings and signage and planters and benches and things like that. So I'm sure you're wondering what all this is gonna cost. The purchase price for the property is 1.2 million. We are budgeting an additional $350,000 for renovations for a total of 1.5 million of initial upfront investment. We ex estimate a down payment of $320,000, leaving us to finance about 1.2 million over 25 years. Financing will be contingent upon an appraisal of the building, which has not yet been completed. Additionally, this facility will require ongoing operating costs for things like utilities, cleaning, snow removal, or repairs. These operating expenses are partially offset by eliminating our rent payment to Skyline Middle School. Plus, as was mentioned, there are, uh, will be income from two commercial tenants in the upper level. These tenants lease 50% of the building and both have a five-year lease arrangement through the year 2025. A significant effort has been put into financial models that are showing that Eastside can afford the loan payments and the operating costs. When could this all happen? Well, if Eastside supports moving ahead, it could take three to four months to negotiate the contract, conduct all of our due diligence, satisfy the lender's conditions, and then close on the property. After closing, renovations would likely take another three to four months. That puts us in the building sometime in the first quarter of 2021. What will God do next? Since the Scent campaign, we've been eagerly asking ourselves this question. Now we have this, the only opportunity we've found that meets our needs and is financially feasible. We don't want to rush any decision, but the owners of the building who have been very patient with our process soon need to know our intentions. We realize this is a difficult time to make decisions. We know you've been praying and we ask you to continue prayerfully considering this building with us. Pray for God's will to show through in unquestionable ways. Pray that if this is what God has for East Side, that there would be no doubt uh, or that doors would close. Pray for unity among our team and in our East Side family. And above all else, pray that God would be glorified through this process and in whatever space we ultimately occupy. Finally, please prayerfully consider how you will respond to two important questions. One, should we move forward to secure financing and purchase this property? And two, given the current situation, do you expect to follow through with your SENT pledge? As a facilities team, we are sure you have lots of questions and we wanna be able to answer all of them as best we can. There will be three Zoom meetings that we encourage you to join to ask questions and to hear more. Then starting on June 25th, you will be able to vote online in response to these questions from the previous slide. And as always, you can contact us at facilities at eastsideharrisonburg.org. Thanks for listening and thanks for your prayers. Wow, thanks Welby. It's awesome to consider what God has next for us. Again, we just wanna thank the facilities team and 
as I watch that video and, and think about where we are right now, this has been a journey of, for some of us, three years, uh, for some of us, 10 years, for some of us, three years, for us as a leadership and elder team for over two years. And who would have thought that when we began this campaign officially as a, a team and then as a larger congregation over a year ago, all of the things that would happen, all of the events, all of the details that God was orchestrating to bring us to this moment right now. I'm overwhelmed. I'm excited. I can't wait to see how God is going to continue to use this space for whatever it is that He wants to do in this community. It's been amazing. What we've recognized is that God has continued to move us forward towards, towards this spot. Some of us were excited about it from the very beginning. Others, it took more time. But as we realized what was happening, that, that God f greatly exceeded our expectations in a campaign. And then it, we found this space that's available only to us. And, and God continues to open doors. And, and other properties that we looked at over the long term didn't, didn't look sustainable. And this one, the options keep improving. Uh, and so we, are, we recognize that God is moving, God is acting, and God continues to point us where we think uh, he had the place that he has for us. And we couldn't be more excited. We look forward to having continued conversations as a church over the next several weeks, answering questions, having conversation, asking questions, sharing our thoughts, sharing our feelings. And, and oh man, as I continue to think about this space, I can't wait till we can start doing some things. You know, it reminds me of a little bit of a fixer-upper, uh, but this is what God, we believe this is what God has for us, but we want to continue to pray in this together so that we can move forward together in whatever it is that God has for us. We think for now it's his, this. <laughs> Pastor Peter and I have actually been circling this block the last couple months in prayer, praying about this space because we knew it was a, an option and praying for this neighborhood. and. And we'd invite you, whether this yeah. is the place or not, this is part of Harrisonburg and this is the place that we're called. And so would you pray, yeah. pray for this space, pray for this neighborhood, pray for this city, that wherever God wow, takes us good. next, that we would be released into the city to be the rescued rescuers that he's called us to be.